how's it going? Uh, this is Rory from Rate My Funeral. That was Rate, by the way. Um, gonna have a little play with Infidio Pro uh, and just show you kind of what it does. Lots of people keep asking me, you know, uh, or asking if they can sort of see it in action. So I thought I'll put something together because today's the release of uh, the Pro version, um, which is all the great features of the studio uh, with all the uh, with lighting rig added to it. Um, Forgive me if today is a little disjointed. I had my company Christmas do last night, and today I'm feeling wonderful. Uh, yeah. So let's um, start off somewhere over here. Um, yeah, this is a good place. This is a chair. You sit on it. But uh, this model of a chair, right? Okay, so if I just render that out, okay, you can't see anything. Uh, if I create a floor. And there it's in there, uh, but obviously it's missing like shadows and that sort of thing. So I can create lights and do all of that sort of thing. But uh, the whole point of a video is it saves you having to do all of this. So let me just delete that chair. If I load up in video Pro and just place that into the scene, uh, hit render, and without having to do anything, um, it's a fairly respectable looking render you can see you've got here the nice reflections in the chrome uh, it's got a bit of shadow going on there and that's looking all pretty cool uh, one thing it probably could do with um, is the anti-aliasing just turning up a bit and that'll make those shadows in there a little nicer uh, the other thing I'm going to do is turn on my fill light shadows okay so let's have a look at that now Obviously, that does impact render time, but uh, the better something looks, generally, the longer it will take to render. So, there you go. You can see that that's fixed those issues there. And that's looking pretty cool, you know, and that's, that's out of the box. That's the default lighting, um, all the default coloring. Um, just really, really quickly then, I'm just going to show you uh, a few little bits and pieces. So, the standard in video controls, you have... Um, uh, all of these in here, uh, you can see that you can adjust the floor size, change the color of the floor, turn the floor off altogether, um, change the gradient, uh, put a floor reflection on. This is quite nice, so I'll run that out again. And uh, that might be a bit too subtle. Uh, yeah, I'm going to probably want to turn that up a bit. Uh, let's just turn that up. The darker your floor, no, is it the the lighter your floor, the no, the more reflection you're going to want um, for it to reflect back. There you go. So you can see that that's that's doing a reflection now. There you go. So that gives us a nice shiny reflective floor. Um, I'll let that render out because uh, I understand that there's some known issues with seamless floors and uh, having. A reflection on it, um, but that looks pretty damn cool. I have to admit. And again, this is—I can't. I, I know I keep saying it, but this is out of the box. This is without changing anything. Um, so yeah, so that's that's looking pretty cool. Uh, you've got all of that. Um, there's a few other settings here. I won't go too much into them. The physics are already configured, so we can uh, enable physics and that sort of thing. So this is a great great thing if you want to make sure that that's definitely on the floor just add a tag to it rigid body and set it if it's maybe a complicated object like this just set it to um, oops set it to uh, there we go under inherit tag compound collision shape and just hit play bomb there you go now you know for a fact you can delete that tag rewind it and you know you know for a fact that that chair is sitting on the floor um, right, so I'm just going to, now that we've had a look at it, I'm just going to put the geometry back down again just so it speeds up our render and I'll switch the floor reflection off. Um, I'll show you a few of the settings in uh, the lighting in a moment. The, uh, there's a global reflection gizmo going on here. If um, I maybe make a sphere and just place that there, maybe make that a, a little bit bigger um, and give that maybe that chrome texture, I gave that the wrong texture, let me create one quickly um, reflective just Fresnel or something there we go you can tell I've got my best uh, I was drinking quite heavily voice on today um, right. 
Okay, let's render that. There you go. So yeah, so what you can see is, is you've got all this reflection going on built in. So you've got the lighting rig being reflected. You've also got the the, the global reflection being reflected. Um, all of which is switch off, switcher offerable. Um, so we can turn off the global reflection in there, or under the lighting we can hide all of the lighting reflections as well. So uh, it's quite nice to have that control kind of at your fingertips. Um, I'll get rid of this sphere again. So our little chair. Uh, let's do it like this. If we put on interactive render region, I mean, kind of just put that there, maybe put that a little way up. We don't want to be waiting all day for these to render down, but uh, that gives us an idea of what we're looking at. So, yes, yeah, so that's it with all the lighting on. Um, in video, you've got uh, in video pro, you've got this lighting tab. So we can turn off all of our lights just by unticking these little boxes here. So that's it with kind of that's just using the default scene light, which just basically lights everything. Um, if we just start by maybe turning on the key light, you can see that this is being lit now from over this this side, um, which is quite cool. But obviously you've got all these dark lines along the edges. So you then enable your hair light and that just uh, fills in those gaps there. Makes that just a little bit cooler um, and finally um, just to fill in the shadows from this side you've got your fill light there and that just sort of vibrates it up a little bit um, and fixes that up and makes that look really nice um, yeah uh, what else can you do so all of these lights are, are configurable so if we maybe go into the key light you'll see here we've got a bunch of controls for them we can change the color of the key light uh, maybe to a, a blue like that and change it about a bit and do that sort of thing um, what else we got we can change the brightness we can change kind of the fall off that's the the, the the distance the intensity of the light reaches out um, we can change the shape of the reflection that that light is producing um, you've got different size controls if I zoom out you can actually see these lights um, kind of how they're sitting uh, we won't see them in the interactive render region, so we just switch that off. Uh, so you you can see them all sort of sitting out there. So this uh, this is the key light here, and we can change the size of that like that. Uh, we can zoom it in and out, move it closer or further away. We can move it up or over, up and over to wherever we want it in the scene, and obviously rotate it around as well. So you've got complete control over the position of the lights. Um, the uh, and let me just put that back to default and they're kind of all like that as well so the fill light you've got the same sort of thing um, you've got the extra button here to turn the uh, shadow off on the fill light uh, and all of them you can turn the, the darkness up and down uh, again you can move it around put it wherever you 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 know you need to put it like so um, and yeah so uh, if we render that out you can see that this is now just like a quite nicely lit chair just in the middle of nowhere so it's you know it's just useful um, also the hair light up here the, you've got uh, you can change the position the height of that the the size of it the length the width it's all configurable there the shape of the reflection that that produces you can make that circular um, and obviously as you can see you can see these lights in the preview while you're testing uh, and setting up but then when you render uh, they vanish um, from the scene so that they're not in the way or anything so yeah um, I'll show you there's one other little feature and this is brilliant I love this because um, I always have this as a trouble uh, if you're doing something with a like a seamless floor or infinity studio and you have something kind of far, far off into the distance um, if I make a copy of this you'll see what I mean uh, so I've made a copy of him and we'll just push him back so to over there uh, I'm just going to increase the size of the floor so that it's sitting on the floor. Don't worry about all these colors, that's my OpenGL driver issue that I'm still having. Um, I'm hoping that uh, I will actually one day manage to fix that. But um, yeah, so basically you can see that that chair, because it's not kind of in the area of our lighting, is not being lit, um, and the shadow's kind of going off, and so that's obviously not very good you'd have to go and set something up over there however with uh, in the, there's a here that you've got what's called the distance light so if you switch that on and then render that out again you'll see the difference that actually makes is uh, is pretty damn useful because uh, without having to do anything that over there is now lit 
Um, you've got uh, various settings with that, so you, if, you, that, if that shadow's a bit funny, you can switch that off here. If I put the interactive render region back on again, we'll get an idea of what we're looking at here. So you can see it's sitting over there, so turn the shadow back on and you get that. Yeah, so uh, you can obviously ramp the brightness up so it's it's lit quite a lot, or just subtly, and it's kind of all the all the options are, are there. That's the whole point of it, you know. So uh, yeah, that's that's uh, the idea of that. Um, and obviously, all of this you've got some more controls here. You can rotate the whole uh, the whole lot around, or you can. Uh, raise the lighting up and down and you can uh, ramp the shadow quality up which by default is quite low um, and then when you're done and ready for your final render you can ramp that up so you get nice quality shadows but obviously it doesn't slow down your rendering time when you're building the scene um, so yeah uh, this is um, the like the, the basics of Infidio you know um, the uh, the idea is I appreciate all of this stuff is already all in cinema and that's fine but the idea of this is that all of the controls and everything are there for you in one place you know it's all here um, so kind of once you get into the you know get into the hang of knowing exactly where anything is you can be changing these settings within seconds instead of you know going into textures and changing reflections and uh, going into the lights and changing different bits now obviously you sometimes you're going to want a bit more control and you can still access you know the lighting uh, rig and and that sort of thing in there um, and you can go in and do that uh, you can also add obviously you can add more lights to the scene you know so you want to just add another light there maybe um, you know not have a shadow on it but you just want it to light up a small area or something you can do that and the, the whole point is just to speed up workflow make things a bit easier um, you know that that sort of thing and I just found I was having to create this kind of scene again and again and again so um, that's why I then put this together and then discovered that you know perhaps it's something that could be uh, really useful to sort of other people so that's when I really started putting some effort into making it a kind of a usable product so that's Infidio Pro I really hope you uh, like it and if you go and buy it then please show me what you get up to with it um, love to see the stuff uh, if you've got any questions drop them in the comments um, that sort of thing oh there was one more thing I'm just going to show you this one more thing um, somebody was asking me that bought it like what the idea um, of edge mode actually is um, if I go to edge mode and just switch that on you see how it's kind of difficult to see with this stupid uh, OpenGL problem I've got at the moment let me just switch OpenGL on uh, preferences OpenGL there we go I know the colours go a bit funny but you can kind of at least see what's happening now so or can you it basically edge mode kind of folds the floor in half now what's great about this is is obviously you can kind of position your camera over here I've zoomed out quite a way um, and you've, you've basically you've still got this seamless studio going on you know off into the background and you can't see this edge so you can kind of you know uh, animate things uh, you know popping up from behind so you know something will be there and then suddenly you've kind of got this edge so things can kind of fly up from behind it and that sort of thing so that's kind of the, the reason for that um, and also because physics are in, uh, included um, you know set up as default uh, da -da 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 -da, let's put this here no, this is looking really messy at the moment. This is my stupid drivers. Right, so if we just give that cube a rigid body tag and just press play. Okay, I missed. <laughs> uh, da -da -do. Try there. Okay, I missed again. I'm going to make the cube bigger. I'm doing rubbish here, aren't I? You can tell that I was drinking last night, can't you? It does show. Right, there you go. Whee! So as you can see, that uh, is all included in the physics. So there you go um, there right that really is it um, that really is the end of this completely stupid thing uh, not specifically a tutorial as such just kind of showing you uh, what Infidio does and what it is 
um, and it's available now from the website. So www.ratemyfuneral.com. Like I say, please leave me comments and give me feedback. Uh, if you've got any feature requests, things that you, you you know you think maybe it could do that I might be able to add to it, then let me know. Um, and as always, uh, follow all my pages and you'll get all the updates and, and keep on top of all the crazy, daft, zany stuff that I'm doing. Um, and yeah, so I'm now going to go and have a lie down. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>